Well, we're gathering a range of different views on what we've seen in London in the last few days. With me now is Paul Perkins, who's the CEO of a youth charity called The Winch, which operates in Camden, which is actually one of the areas of uh, London affected last night. Um, we're looking at comments from viewers around the world who are watching these scenes in London and saying, why is this happening? What, what would you say? Why is it happening? I think it's, it's difficult to say. Um, there are any number of young people who are involved, and not all of them will have the same motivations or be involved for the same reasons. I think we, we, whilst definitely not justifying what is, what is happening and what young people are doing, do have to ask wider questions about why it's happening, which also relate to, I suppose, sort of historic and systemic reasons. What kinds of reasons would, would they be, I mean, from your own experience in, in working with young people? I, I've, I mean, I've been working with young people now for about 12, 13 years, and I think one of the things that we have seen over the past, from before I was working with them, is a, a sort of a change in the way that they're perceived and indeed legislation over the past 20, 30 years, even going back to Margaret Thatcher, that hasn't been terribly helpful in terms of um, particularly uh, low income or, or young people who are growing up in poverty becoming or feeling they have a stake in mainstream society. And I think that's been sort of made, made more difficult by, I think, almost a, a sort of more nihilistic um, outlook in our society to to value people by what they own rather than who they but, are. But what you're talking about suggests then that, that we would see an angry crowd or a disaffected crowd. What the police have said very plainly is that this wasn't an angry crowd, this was a greedy crowd. And that's borne out with a picture of people, you know, in many cases, coolly walking into stores and picking up whatever they wanted. I think, I think there's an important distinction to, to make. I don't think we are talking about an ideological battle, um, certainly not one that is clearly articulated in that way. We're talking about a vacuum. We're talking about uh, young people who form their own uh, communities or have different sort of anti-social norms rather than social norms. But the sort of label of greediness is not unique to young people. We've had an expenses scandal with politicians. We've had um, uh, we, we've had an economic crisis with with bankers. I think these are these are the things which happen when those those boundaries and social norms break down. So. Given all of that then, what is your view when, when you see the idea of more um, robust policing, of more police being on the streets, is, is that something that is a good thing or is that something that you worry leads to more tension in the future? I, I think in the short term we have to see it as a, a very important thing. I think generally speaking having a, a high visibility of, of policemen is also a good thing. Uh, you know, it actually allows young people in the wider community to build those relationships. With the police, you With mean? With the police. Okay, let, let me, but before you go, I just want to show you something, because there, there is evidence of how this might have been organised. And, and I want to just um, show you something which, which uh, has been circulated. It's a flyer that's been circulated in, in the area where all of this really began in, in Tottenham. You, you can see it um, on the screen now. Uh, this is a flyer that's been put through people's uh, letterboxes, uh, essentially uh, giving advice to those who think that they might be identified in, in the footage last night, saying, get rid of your clothes, uh, keep a low profile on the internet. I mean, th this does suggest something a lot more organised than, than what you've been saying. I think, I, I think the fact that there is not a, a sort of ideological basis does not mean that it cannot be organised. But I, I think that we, we, have to, we have to be careful that we don't think that looking to understand what's happening is necessarily condoning it. Um, you know, Theresa May has called it sheer criminality. If we're, going to hold, if we're going to hold young people to that sort of account, then we have to look at ourselves as a community, as, as a political system and as a country. Okay. Paul Perkins uh, of the youth charity The Winch, thanks very much um, for talking to us today. Um,